this keyboard cleaner provides pressure. Now here you can see there's quite a bit of friction between the film and the bearing face from my finger. But when I energize it with the keyboard cleaner, you can see that now there's no friction between the film and the face of the bearing, even with local pressure pushing down like this with my finger. The next step in this process would be rather than having a local pressure from my finger, would be to sandwich the substrate between the two bearings. So now you can see there's quite a bit of friction between them. There's, there's no air going to the faces, but as soon as we energize them, now you can see this bearing is floating completely frictionlessly on the substrate. The substrate itself is floating frictionlessly on the lower bearing. So it is completely sandwiched between these bearings. And the harder I push, the higher the air pressure between the bearings and the substrate get. But the substrate is always finding the center between the two faces. And the closer it gets to either side, the higher the repelling force gets to keep it away from the surface. Another functionality of the film is that we can steer the film by a wedge effect in the gap. So if I put more pressure on one side of the bearing, the film moves to the opposite side. This is from the shear of the air in the gap and it provides an interesting functionality for steering and controlling the flexible substrate. This ability to sandwich a substrate between two air bearing lands allows us to both pass the substrate through really high pressure, high velocity cleaning solutions uh, and then immediately thereafter have high pressure, high velocity drying so there's no time for any kind of water marks to join. Also this uh, high velocity air on both sides of the substrate allows us to control the temperature of the substrate very accurately and drive it very quickly. Uh, this can be really important in coating applications. The ability to pass a substrate into a vacuum chamber and out of a vacuum chamber without having to open and close vacuum doors is also enabled by this technology. We have this meter pegged at 10 to the minus 4 torr. The entire top component is floating around on the bottom component. Go ahead, Jim, and wiggle the top around a little. Please see some of the other videos that explain exactly how this is accomplished.